Welcome to Nadashi Science, where our goal is to make science simple. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can produce more helpful science content. In this video, we're going to look at the periodic trend for atomic size. Make sure you stick around until the very end so you do not miss out on understanding what affects the atomic size the most. This is sometimes referred to as atomic radius as there is a direct relationship between the radius of a circle and the size of a circle. Atomic size is an important characteristic of the atom as it helps us better understand why the atom reacts the way that it does. Bigger atoms will react differently than smaller atoms, and being able to compare atomic size is the first step to explaining these differences. The periodic trend for atomic size is that the size of the atom gets bigger as you go down the periodic table and from right to left across the periodic table. One way to remember this trend is to remember that francium, which is Fr, is the largest element on the periodic table and it is at the bottom left side of the periodic table. This can help you remember that atomic size gets bigger going down and to the left on the periodic table. One thing to note is that this is a trend, not a law. Trends are true most of the time, but not all of the time. There are going to be exceptions to every trend we talk about, but we will cover that in another video. Now that we know the trend, let's look at why the trend is the way that it is. So first, let's look at why the atom gets bigger as you go down the periodic table. We will use group one, the alkali metals, to help us better understand. When we go down this group from hydrogen to lithium to sodium, we can see that we are adding an energy level each time. Each of these elements, while in the same group, are in different periods. Hydrogen is in period one, so it has one energy level. Lithium is in period two, so it has two energy levels, while sodium is in period three, so it has three energy levels. This continues all the way down to francium, which has seven energy levels. The more energy levels we have, the bigger the atom is getting because we are adding more rings, which you can see here when I compare the Bohr model of lithium to the Bohr model of sodium. You can see that sodium is bigger, and that is because it has one more energy level than lithium. So as you go down the periodic table, atoms get bigger because you're adding more energy levels. Now let's look at why atoms get bigger as you move from right to left on the periodic table. We will use period two here to help us explain. As we move from right to left on the periodic table, the atomic number is going down, which means the number of protons is going down. We know that neon has 10 protons, fluorine has nine protons, oxygen has eight protons, and this pattern will continue all the way to lithium, which has three protons. The fewer protons we have in the nucleus, the weaker the nucleus is. A weaker nucleus cannot hold the electrons in as well, so the electrons are able to spread out more, making the atom to the left slightly larger. If we compare lithium to oxygen, lithium will be larger. They both have two energy levels, but lithium has three protons, while oxygen has eight. Lithium's nucleus is weaker, so the electrons are able to spread out more while oxygen can pull its electrons in closer because it has a stronger nucleus. So the reason why atoms get bigger as you move from right to left on the periodic table is because a number of protons is going down, which makes the nucleus weaker, which allows the electrons to spread out more. One thing to make note of is that energy level is more significant than the strength of the nucleus. So you always want to look at the number of energy levels first. If and only if the number of energy levels is the same, then you would want to consider the strength of the nucleus. Now, let's look at some examples. In our first example, we'll compare aluminum to gallium and try to figure out which one is bigger. Remember, the first thing you want to look at is the number of energy levels, and I can see that aluminum has three energy levels while gallium has four. This means that gallium is going to be bigger because it has more energy levels. In our next example, we can look at rubidium versus iodine. And again, looking at the energy levels will be the first thing to consider. I can see that both of these are in the fifth period on the periodic table, so they both have five energy levels. And whenever energy levels are the same, you're going to want to then look at the strength of the nucleus, which is related to the number of protons. Rubidium is going to be bigger because it has fewer protons than iodine, and that means rubidium has a weaker nucleus, which causes the electrons to spread out more. In our last example, we can compare potassium to phosphorus. Again, looking at the number of energy levels should be the first thing you consider. Potassium has four energy levels, while phosphorus only has three. This means that potassium is going to be bigger because it has more energy levels than phosphorus. Now you know the periodic trend for size. 
If you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel so we can produce more helpful science content. If there is a specific topic you need help with, please let us know in the comments.